Grade 7 math, number 3.2a, adding rational numbers with the same sign. Do you remember from the last video, a rational number can be written as the quotient of two integers? You know, a simple fraction like that little half up here. It could be written as a ratio or a decimal, but the denominator can't be zero when it's in its fraction form. Every integer is a rational number. They can be written as fractions, improper fractions, or decimals. So to add rational numbers with the same sign, we use the same rules we used when we added integers. The sum has the same sign as the sign of the rational number add-ends. So here's two rational numbers, 2.5 and 1.5, written in decimal form. It's easier to add these if they're stacked. If you remember how to add decimals, we drop the decimal straight down. We add these. 5 plus 5 is 10. We carry the 1, put the 0 down, and this is 4. So our answer is 4. And when the signs are the same, the sum uses the same signs as the add-ends. So if you can remember my little two green likes here, like signs, like the add-ends, okay? That'll help you. All right, so here's two rational numbers in fraction form, and they're added as the fractions they are. We need a common denominator, don't we? We can't add halves and fourths. So in order for the half to become a fourth, we multiply it by two. The numerator is jealous. It wants to get multiplied by two. We get a negative two-fourths. That is an equivalent fraction to the negative half. Now we can add the numerators. Three and two is five. We drop the four denominator down. We have negative five-fourths. And when we simplify it, it becomes negative one and one-fourth. See? The sum is negative, and it takes the sign of the add-ends. Like signs, like the add-ends. Okay? And they're both negative, so it became a negative. Now, we can add them as a mixed number. 3 plus a negative 1 and a half, we have different signs, don't we? Do you remember the rule for the different signs? When you're adding the different signs, you find the difference. It's my pink different difference. We use the sign of the greater absolute value. So, which one has a bigger absolute value? Which one's farther from 0 on a number line? The 3 is, and it's positive, so our answer is going to be positive. So on a number line, if we're at 3 right here, here's the 0, so we're on the positive 3 side, and we take away 1 and a half, we take away 1, that puts us at 2, and we take away the half, and that puts us at 1 and a half, and we know it's positive, and it is positive. Look, it's on that side of the 0. Our answer is 1 and a half. If we add them as decimals, and we have a negative 2.5 plus a negative 3.5, we start at the negative 2.5 on the number line. Here's 0. So here's negative 2. Here's negative 2.5, right in between the 3 and the 2. And we're going to add a negative 3.5. Our rule is like signs, like the add-ends, so we know it's going to be a negative answer. So that means we need to go farther into the negatives, right? So to add a negative 3.5, since we're at the halves, we're going to jump to 3 and a half, 4 and a half, 5 and a half, and then we're going to add that other little 0.5 right here, and it's going to put us at negative 6. So our answer is negative 6, all right? So try to remember, like signs, like the add-ins. Add different signs, find the difference. And use the sign of the greater absolute value when you're doing this one, okay, with the different signs. All right, we're going to talk about adding rational numbers with different signs in our next video, okay? I'll see you there. You're doing great. Keep going. You'll make it. Bye.